The world is getting hotter and no one is immune. But just how hot is too hot? It's not as straightforward as reading off a standard thermometer. Instead, scientists often use something called wet bulb temperature. But how does this work? In hot climates, people have one key method to stay cool, sweat. How much that can keep you cool depends on the humidity as well as the dry air temperature. And a wet bulb temperature measures both of these things. It's quite literally a thermometer wrapped in a wet cloth. And it shows the lowest temperature a person can cool themselves down to by sweating. Many researchers say that the highest livable wet bulb temperature for humans is 35 degrees Celsius. Past that point, you stop being able to maintain your core body temperature. And if you can't cool down quick enough, your organs start to shut down. Global warming is pushing us closer and closer to that limit. According to NASA, global temperatures have increased over 1.1 degrees Celsius since 1880. And since 2011, that's made 70% of extreme weather events, like heat waves, more likely or more severe. And this trend is only set to continue, with global temperatures predicted to hit record levels over the next five years. For people in already hot climates, every part of life will become harder. But those in cooler climates won't get off easy either. Food could get more expensive as harvests get smaller. Energy prices could jump too as demand increases when more people switch on their air conditioning. At the same time, energy supply is squeezed as the heat makes coal, gas and nuclear power plants less efficient. Scientists are split on when we'll hit that critical wet bulb threshold. Some think we've already passed that point in many places along the equator, although not for very long. Others predict that areas in the Middle East and Southeast Asia will be regularly crossing that critical 35 degrees Celsius mark by 2075. But on the direction of travel, the consensus is clear. Extreme heat is becoming more common and more dangerous. And no matter where you live, no one will be able to avoid the consequences.